Good morning and welcome to the channel. Welcome to this, the video of the story of I. Now, it is more likely that it should be that. You see? So, what is I? If you, for the uninitiated, and I've just, I only know this because I've just read all this blurb on the inside. I is a building in the middle of the jungle and it hosts games. Um, and people come from all over the world to compete in these games. Um, and as they complete the games, they rise up through the different floors of the building. Uh, until eventually they get to the top and the only way out is then to walk along a plank and dive to your potential death, I guess, uh, hundreds and hundreds of feet below. Um, and um, But you don't because at the bottom, let's get back to this again, is this. It's a layer. It's, a, it's like a lake or something, but you go, zoop, you go through it and then you start playing the game in reverse. Um it's kind of like, sounds like it's the, the Hunger Games or Squid Games or what was the other one? Rollerball, something like that. Um, and um, it's about this, what, I think you can see this sort of slightly out of focus pixelated orb sitting on top of the eye. Well, that's meant to be collecting all the feelings and emotions and uh, whatnot of the people taking part. Um, it's the... Uh, should we just get on with this? It doesn't really make a great deal of sense to me, you know, but I think it's um, it's a science science fictiony thing where people's experiences and emotions and dreams and hopes and all that sort of stuff are stored in this orb, then beamed out around the world into other people watching it as entertainment. Um, sounds all a bit sort of dystopian and, as I say, yes, uh, rollerball or. I don't have Squid Games. I never really watched Squid Games, but I kind of know about it. But Hunger Games, anyway. Um, and there was a game. What was that? Uh, Red Dwarf. There's an episode of Red Dwarf called Better Than Reality, where people played a computer game, and it was then it, they thought it was their life. And that's, that's actually something completely different. Isn't it? Anyway, I digress. I digress. This is Patrick Moraz. Um, he of yes and Moody Blues fame. Um, Swiss keyboard player, synth player. What's going on in Switzerland apart from Mraz? Banks, Toblerone, yodeling, and holy cheese. And now we have this. Shall we see what it's about? Right. Three, two, one. There we go. I recognise that. I think that's been sampled. I think it's been sampled by Left Field. I'm using one of their tracks.
update is this? This is mad. I know, I never actually said what we're listening to, did I? Just practicing on it. This is impact. Impact, warmer hands, the storm, Kachaka, Baya, Intermezzo, indoors, best years of our lives. Lots and lots of really interesting studio notes in there. This must be impossible to play this live. Unless you've got lots and lots and lots of keyboard plays on the stage. Groove going.
bonkers. Absolutely mental. Not, obviously not the same as uh, Eliza Sun Hillow. It reminds me a little bit of that because that's quite loud. For a lot of it, there's no sort of direct kick play. It's all sort of um, percussion. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's a real... I say it's a real shame that... The people that make dance music now, they're sort of the really, really good creators of electronic music, concentrate on trying to keep like a dance beat going. I don't know if they transferred their skills and actually started to write music. You could have some amazing stuff.
Love it. Absolutely love it. No surprise, really, that this is a very keyboard heavy album, is it? Considering it's by Patrick Mraz, but what an absolute um, homage to the synthesizer this is. I'm saying this again about the third record in a row. This sounds like Osric Tentacles. But predates it by about 15 years. Where we are in the running order here. where we are. I really don't. It's just awesome.
Oh, got some lyrics. So I can work out where we are now. Morning, 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 morning. Ah, oh, best years of our lives. But that's not even one of the tracks on here. Different vices overrun me when I'm down and I can't get oh, up. Oh dear. There's someone there to pick up the pieces. Yes, we do. Best years of our lives. The last song. I say it's slightly overwhelming, isn't it? It's uh, there's an awful lot to take in there. Stop the uh, recording and stop the old doobly do over there. Um, there is a so much to. I mean, you can't you can't listen. To, you can listen to it in one sitting, but you can't talk competently about this after just one listen it's kind of there is so much to unpack and to and to think about and to uh, absorb and to and to and to and to listen to and to know and to to and to, to understand and I don't hardly any of it um it's it's grandiose and it's huge and it's uh and, and it's just so it's not over the top but it's very, very dense. It's, there's a vast amount of stuff happening. The orchestration is just insane. And it's bonkers, absolutely bonkers. I don't know how much stuff is going on on here. Uh, there's rock and there's jazz and there's 
there's fusion and there's Latin uh, and loads of sort of uh, Brazilian and South American rhythms and whatnot going on, and classical and uh, half oh, flip flop, flip flop. We have a second side to listen to, so I believe I should be doing that next. But what I will say is, um, this is ostensibly split into seven tracks on each side, so it may be that I have to upload it into two different bits, because I think sometimes if you go above four on one side, it gets blocked. We'll see. It may not do. It may may be able to go up, but... uh, uh, if it's blocked, I'm afraid I'll have to split it into two bits. It may sort of destroy the flow a little bit, but uh, that's not my fault. It's not my fault. Uh, but I'll stick it onto the Vimeo Vimeo thing. If uh, you're, if you're uh, buying me a coffee and whatnot, you can get your link there. I'm going to see that. Anyway, I shall uh, see you guys on the next video, whenever and whatever it is. And until then, this is Jim O'Hurst.